here is the Metzen, dirty drone, Deluge. This is a one-off build. It has a four-step sequencer, which runs backwards, of course, with a speed control, and uh, goes this slow. You can probably see the LEDs running there. Uh, it's built in a wooden box here with the usual painting. Uh, the wooden box is actually an old drawer from the cabinet and uh, the panel is uh, aluminium plastic cladding stolen from some construction site. has a couple of indications stamped into the surface here but not all of them have that. It contains this four-step sequencer which has uh, pitch control for each step, has a range uh, toggle and each of them also has a LDR for pitch control. And these LDRs act differently depending on the range setting. Here's an on, on-off toggle to uh, send the signal to the effects part of this instrument. The effects part is the Eco Blender. It's an experimental delay distortion circuit based on the Casper Electronics Eco Bender, uh, which I really like. And this one is especially noisy. It has a dry output, yeah. Uh, wet for the delay. It has a time C is time coarse. Time F is time fine. It has like a fine tuning for the time. And R is repeats. F is feedback. Feedback is also in most cases distortion meaning the the output of the delay gets uh, circled which is basically usually in these old school delay chips anyway the repeats but this has an extra feedback circle so uh, I will demo it without any effects but it is really nice to play it with the reverb I think uh, otherwise it is really noisy, but of course you can do whatever you want. It runs on a 9 volt uh, pedal power supply, boss style, with the minus inside. And it also has a input. That means the input allows you to mix an input signal with, with the signal of the uh, sequencer. But you can also use just the eco blender part and just switch the sequencer off so we will go dry without the effects and also dry here uh, with the with the uh, dry output control of the eco blender so this is the sequencer One thing about the sequencer, it has a really weird algorithm uh, going. That means it is never really stable. Depending on what you set, kind of melody, the melody will always shift over time. So this is like on purpose. <laughs> and uh, if you want some linearity in it, you won't get it. Hooray. This changed. or I think the fully fully uh, clockwise <laughs> then the, the tone gets hold, he held
stars work uh, by shading them or if you play in the dark by shining a light on them. Uh, that depends uh, 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 well on your environment obviously. So it's kind of like a, a well you can play it but it is also like a appreci appreciator I call them, a pregio, but with a random effect. <laughs> So this is of course really silly, let's try it with a little bit of reverb and without the uh, noise stuff going on here. So what happens here with these toggle switches makes them all farty. Toggle down means the frequency are much uh, the frequencies are much lower. And then if you shade them uh, the LDRs it goes up. If you shade them the frequency goes up. You can also do that of course differently here. So there's a really wide range of um, <laughs> of melodies or uh, appreciations in this little box, um, and of course, as as we had it with the reverb, much nicer. So what do we do with the other thing, which is the the um, the delay here, the noisy delay? A, the delay is much darker than the original, so there's a low low pass filter going on in the delay, in the wet circuit of the delay. Here's the time. Here's the repeat. Also with this delay about 12 o'clock from there it starts to go over the actual delay time meaning you get a lot of noisy 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 noises uh, send short thing in uh, needs to be of course yeah, this is the delay time max well max is this and of course it decays but you can crank up the repeats until three o'clock then you have little loops that are getting noisier over time but are in its noisiness quite stable so you can feed that with tones from from the uh, from the sequencer here Like a super crude loop at which you can build these kind of patterns again. Yeah, full reverb bypass.
just a loop. Let's see what happens with the... We can do it short, of course. Just a fine tuning. of course more noisy. Let's clear that out. One round, clear it out and open it up again, send something. And now the feedback here. The dirty drone deluge, quite a 
quite a complicated thing in a way but it gives you lots of opportunities of making really weird uh, noises with some kind of rhythm or melody in it and um, we didn't even use the second delay here but maybe that's okay it needs reverb otherwise it's just really annoying or super noisy I mean I don't know what people do with with their life but I need reverb in it thank you very much <laughs>